All right, so thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, today, I'm gonna give you a little Tesla quick tip, which I haven't done in a while. And I'm here at a car wash, and I'm going to show you how to use the new car wash mode, which was in the latest update, the 24.4 update. So I'm gonna show you what it does and how to turn it on when you get to a car wash and what to do if you get to a car wash that has a conveyor belt that takes you through like the one I'm about to go through. All right, let's get the car wash. All right, so we're here at uh, this car wash here in Las Vegas. And if you are getting ready to go through the car wash, it's really simple. You're just going to go down here, a little quick uh, controls, and you're going to go down to service. And then you're going to see car wash mode right there. You're just going to tap that. It's going to give you a little disclaimer, kind of tells you what it does, which is it closes all the windows, locks the charging port, disabled windshield wipers, uh, turns, on, turns off sentry mode, uh, and walkway door locks, and any parking sensor chimes. For uh, automatic car washes like the one I'm about to go to uh, that has a conveyor belt, you can turn on the free roll option, which I will and I'll show you. And that shifts the car into neutral. Once you kind of get on to the conveyor belt, then you'll hit free roll and uh, that'll prevent the uh, car from automatically braking when it uh, exits the conveyor belt. And then uh, car wash mode will exit if the vehicle speed exceeds 10 miles an hour or you can just hit the button to turn it off. All right, let's go get the car washed. Again, so when I hit that, it shows you all the different things right here that it does. You can fold in the mirrors, which I generally actually do. And you can see those just came in. And then uh, you can just hit exit car wash mode anytime you're ready when you're done. Or like it said, if you go over 10 miles an hour, it'll automatically turn off. Here's the automatic car wash free roll. Uh, you're gonna, it says press brake and shift in drive to enable. So when I'm in drive and I get up to the conveyor belt, I will turn on enable free roll. And then once I start to go onto it, and then that'll allow it to just go and it'll stay to keep the car in neutral until you exit. Once your front tires go off the front of the conveyor belt, you can just turn off the free roll and exit the car wash mode and exit the car wash with no problems. All right, getting ready to go into the car wash here. Cool. Thanks so much. Have a good day. You too. All right, so I need to tell him to keep the top brush off because I have the cargo box. As you can see, I just hit enable free roll and it says the car will remain in neutral for free rolling. So I just had to press the brake as it was getting onto the conveyor belt. I just had to press the brake for a second, hit enable free roll, and then that was it. So once the conveyor belt kind of pushes me off with my back tires, then I will put it into, uh, I'll press the brake slightly, put it into drive, and then exit. starting to finally fully exit and it's rolling and then I'm just going to press the brake put it into drive like I just did and that's it and then you can just slow down right here you can either drive and go over 10 miles an hour or just hit exit car wash mode which I will do and that is it all right so that was it it's as easy as that I mean you really just uh 
hit one button and then uh, when it asks when you get on if you have a conveyor belt you'll have to hit one more which is the free roll button other than that it's just go to quick controls then service and then turn on car wash mode and that's it all right let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below uh, i will see you in the next travel or review video thanks for watching